yeah i can so, ask the question why did you drop why did why did nathan lippincott drop rotc <laughs> um i guess i don't know if everyone knows who's listening right now but so yeah we both came in the same time like school wise we both went to college at the same time we were both on rotc scholarships army rotc scholarships and by the end of freshman year i started to realize it wasn't for me and you know in a lot of ways i attribute that to my acl tear (laughs) and um which is crazy because like at the time i was like this is the worst thing that could have happened to me right now the worst timing like and i couldn't think of anything else i was like this is this sucks you know this is just garbage that i have to deal with this right now Mm -hmm. but in a way that's what gave me an opportunity to step back and kind of see things a little clearer i think so i went through sec all of second semester i wasn't i wasn't really able to do any of the activities for rtc because i was in the middle of rehab so i was just watching and not even going to a lot of the events like that 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 thing that our alejandro came back from a, a few weeks ago is called ftx i didn't get to do that my second semester because i was still in a cat and not in a cast in a brace um and you know because i had so much time away from it um i got to reflect because i feel like when you're in the thick of it it's just on to the next on to the next on to the next you know you don't really have time to slow down and be like whoa okay what's going on you know what i mean i'm uh, sure you 100%. might be experiencing yes. that right now especially <laughs> <laughs> literally right but, now. Uh, yeah you know because of the injury i had that time to step back and i was like you know is this really what i want because i don't before high school i didn't want to do the military i never even considered it and I was just in such a good spot. High school was such, we had such a, we were blessed with such a great experience of for high school. Like our JRTC program was really awesome. And it's hard for us to say that because, you know, there's a kind of a stigma with JRTC cadets that they're, you know, yeah. weird kids. But ours was so different from that. And I mean, maybe at some, at some point we can touch on that, Alejandro, but maybe I mean, not right can, now. Yeah, okay. But, you know, something eventually we can talk about is how different and how awesome our jared to see experience was i mean we could talk about it. i mean we kind of opened it up a little bit i mean it was just kind of cool i mean when you're done with your when your story obviously sure, you can get sure, it yeah, we can go back to it um but yeah so because of that it was kind of naive in a way that was the only military experience i'd ever had and i was like wow this is what it's like i'm um, sign me up like 100 percent. i want to do that for for a long time then um and it's just not like that and it's that it doesn't mean it's bad you know for some, for a lot of people, even Alejandro, right? It's good mm-hmm. for them. It's good, and it just—I realized it wasn't for me, and it wasn't working for me. And you know, I have to deal with the repercussions of that at the same time. And I understood that. You know, that's why it was such a hard decision for me because obviously they're paying for everything, um, and especially going to a school out of state. You know, it's really expensive, and it would have been obviously it would have been super nice if I could still have my tuition paid for. <laughs> but um, the way I always look at it is. Sure, I might not be paying for it money wise, but I am paying for it in time, you know, because by the time I'm finally get, able to get out of the military, I would be close to 30 years old, you know, and I want my 20s and my third up to my 30s. I want that to be more about what do I want in life? And if that's not what I want in life, then I don't see the point in me paying. Right. Or not paying. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I mean, it's um, I'm really glad you said what you said earlier about like thinking that the jrotc is like the rotc because i know our sound guy eric who isn't in right the, in the room to stop me from right. telling the story um but he felt the exact same way and yeah. we actually joined rotc together our freshman year mm-hmm. and you know we both quickly learned that it's not it, it's nothing it's it's nothing <laughs> like uh the high school jrotc because it's definitely uh more specified towards teaching you about that military career you know i feel like the high school level is more like oh leadership building and this and that Mm -hmm. and at the college level it's more like okay you're making a commitment you're getting contracted you are going to essentially sell your 20s for college tuition if right you know if you could if you go the scholarship route um and yeah it's it's a very big commitment um and i've seen that with a bunch of other people too who have decided you know hey like this isn't for me um a couple of my friends actually have uh just decided that it wasn't for them eric's one of them and i was gonna say something else and i totally forgot what it was 
Um, but yeah, essentially I've had, uh, a bunch of people already like from our high school, um, ask me about ROTC and they're like, Oh, like I'm thinking of doing this. And I always tell them, I'm like, it's not like high school, you know, like, I feel like I need to make that clear. Yeah. Um, if any of our viewers <laughs> have questions about it, feel free to yeah, DM me or anything. Up. Yeah. Shoot us a little texty text or a DM or whatever. <laughs> um, but that's definitely a big thing that I've told a lot of people is that it's not like the high school JROTC. It's very different. All right.